Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Magnus and today I was going to show you CP view and CP view is like a monitoring tool within CLI for both management servers and gateways. So let's log in. So we take our putty client and we log in to uh, the active gateway. So 192.168.1.2 and then admin and your password. And for this to work, I believe you need to be in expert mode. Let's log into expert mode. So expert and then the password. And I will increase the size of this a bit. Okay, perfect. So to see CP view, you, well, first of all, we need to check that this is the, the active gateway and it's a cluster. So you can type CPHA probe stat and here you see so this command cp cpha probe stat and that will show you the, um, the active members so here we are logged in on gateway number one and we are active and this ip address that is shown here that is um, on the sync interface actually um, so don't be alarmed if you don't recognize the iPad address, but it's one iPad address of the gateway part. So you see that it's active and you see the name of it. And you also see the late, latest member state change uh, event. So you see when it did go from active to, to active. This means when it's a active exclamation mark means that it's active, but it doesn't see its member. And this is due to reboot and so on because I don't keep the lab on all the time. But um, we have verified that we are on the active member by seeing this is the local one, meaning the one we are logged into and we see that it's active. So there is a command called CP view and CP view is like a monitoring tool. So you can see here like the, the gateway itself, it has four CPUs, you see it here. And you see the usage of each CPU, you see how much memory it's utilizing. You see that it's more or less no traffic in this box. Uh, and this is one part I wanted to show you. So I will go to um, a speed test within Sweden. And I will start the measurement. And we will see that it's going up to 100 megs here, or well, above 100. And you can see the total throughput through the gateway. Uh, this is not exact science, but it's uh, giving uh, an estimate at least, or hopefully. And you can see like the CPUs and so on go up. I'll show you it again. And you see here that the, the bits per second or the the throughput through the gateway goes up and the CPUs go up. So that's cool. Um, then you can see like sysinfo, that's more about which firmware and so on is installed on this, uh, this gateway. You see that it's a Gaia 64 bits. You see that it's a checkpoint security gateway. Cluster Excel is on. And we have three Cluster Excel instances. We have four CPUs and three of them are using four uh, Cluster Excel. We see the uptime, uh, very little, only one hour and 25 minutes. You see the last policy name is the main office. You see uh, the Jumbo hotfixes here, uh, the build numbers. Uh, you see that it's R8030 in VMware. And network, here you can see like current packages, uh, software blades, uh, how much is going through templates. And you can, you can click up and down here. So you go into interfaces. So you can see this is your, your IP networks. This is the speed of them. The type of port, TP, that's um, uh, normal copper. Uh, this is VMware, so it, yeah, it replicates that. And you can see traffic. So if we press here again, hopefully this goes up in a lot of places. And you can see RX and TX drops. If you see something here and it's uh, alarmingly high, it's not good. So it's, yeah, it's quite cool. You can go into CPU and see how it's working. Top protocols. 
which intents and really just play around here um, I use this from time to time and I think it's yeah I think it's good software blades you can see which one are enabled so we have enable application control we have enable anti-bot and IPS and you see the latest update um, VPN it's a lot of information so just log in here and uh, check out this it's um, I think this is a good troubleshooting tool and this is one of the commands that you should be aware of that ex that is existing so um, you can even see uh, routing protocols here this is dynamic routing protocols BGP OSP F RIP PIM I'm not sure what it stands for I think that has to do with multicast um, rad no idea um, you can see the connection peak so 123 in peaks for connections well we only have one PC so <laughs> well they cannot add so much uh, HTTP parser uh, CPAQ I'm not sure what that is but um, well it's worth to play around in and if you want to exit this I guess you press uh, Q yeah you press Q and then you exit it so what more cool CLI commands do we actually have? Well, we have like normal Linux commands. So we can do, for example, df minus h. That's for disk space. And for h, that's human readable. So we can see that we have 77 gigs available. And in the log partition, here's the log partition. We have 30 gigs available. It's easy to see it here. var slash log. Um, another command that can be really useful is uh, netstat-rn and that's the routing table um, you can of course do like uh, ping that works control C if you want to abort it you can do ifconfig to see your interfaces and you can see like the amount of traffic, the amount of errors. Uh, so ifconfig is useful, same as netstat minus rn. If you don't feel comf comfortable with like uh, Linux command, this is Linux command. This is well, basically Linux, I would say. You can go if you if you type exit, and I will just do clear. Then you are in the in the user mode, meaning not the expert here it's um, first of all you cannot break anything here this is like a read only mode and expert is where you can change stuff it's not 100% sure because you can actually set set commands in here but you can do show commands so you can do show interface and you can do like ethernet one or you can do show interfaces all and you get information regarding all the interfaces. You can do uh, clear again. You can do show route. So so it's it's very similar to to, to Cisco. Um, one thing I will just show you: if you only type like show sh, um, it doesn't work. So you need to you need to tab out the complete. And if you tab again, then you get the list of all available commands. So show, and then you can take show clock. You can do show clusters. Oh, sorry, it's tab, and then we need to do state with an e state. So. The, there is a lot of things that you can do with the show commands and I'm not sure how much of this are in CCSA. There is a lot of, of these things in CCSC, but in CCSA it's more or less focused on the GUI part. The most useful command um, within, within here is the show configuration. configuration. So here you can see all the configuration and as I said, you can do changes here. So set is a command change. So for example, here you have the DNS. 
So if I want to, to change the primary DNS, I can do like this. And I do, I think there is a 4.2.2. And then I do show configuration again. So you see here that the primary DNS was changed. So you, you, can, you can break stuff here. Uh, but you need to do set commands and not show commands. So I will put it back to 888. So when is it more efficient to do it in CLI? Well, routing. Routing takes ages to do in the web GUI. So you can do set route. No, set static route. And then here you have, if you if you type um, question mark, you see like a, a guide on how you should do this. So here is a, here here is an example on how you should do a static route for this network with a next top gateway address, and then this is the next top, and on is the flag to really turn it on. If you take off, then you remove it. This part, this is definitely part of the CCSA. Uh, I got the questions regarding this myself. So, so be able to change routing within CLI. Uh, it's important and it's something that you do in production as well. It takes too long to go into WebGUI and do this. It's a lot faster to do a lot of routing within the CLI. I think that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.